Hello and welcome to another mailbox. Now I know I've been doing this a lot lately, but I just revisited my electronics hobby and I need some parts for my parts bin. I also need some equipment, uh, meters, uh, test equipment, uh, power supplies, cables and whatnot. So yes, I cannot do anything substantial and um, you may say interesting before I have some of these and you know um, the the shops here are you know they are somewhat expensive and uh, some things are even hard to get so I ordered this, this stuff from China mostly from eBay and uh, Alibaba and whatnot you know the usual business uh, and it takes some time to arrive and um, also I don't have some particular goals what to do you know it's just hobby I will do something and it will leave it will lead to something else that is interesting hopefully so yes let's continue with the mailbox so I'm not exactly sure what is this or you may say I don't have a clue okay that's something small yeah, yeah, okay yeah I know I know I know I know what is that So let me show you. Okay, I thought it was something else, but anyhow, this is the SMA to BNC adapter, and it was really cheap, maybe one dollar if I remember correctly. And yeah, you may guess it. I also plan to revisit my uh, amateur radio hobby uh, so you may also um, maybe you saw my this uh, interface cable for radio station and um, obviously I will use this to this is like usual antenna connector so I will use this to connect some antennas to my radio, but yeah, when it arrives, I just uh, I just started getting equipment for this. This is whole another story. This is the similar envelope, so let me feel it. I fit okay, it's some sort of cable. So what cable did I order again? I don't know. Let me see. Okay. So this is a USB type A to USB type A cable. Ah, it looks a bit flimsy, I may say. But yeah, I just needed it to power some hard drives. So yeah, another cheap thing from China. Whoever is producing these envelopes is a rich man in China. Look at them. Same thing, same size. Let me feel it. Ah, lots of... Yes, I think I know what is this. Ah, no. I guessed it incorrectly. Again, so this is my bunch of electronic cups. It's, yeah, what is the brand? Chang Feng, something, I don't know. I will not remove them from the bag. Uh, they're all the same size, but in different uh, bags. So they are rated differently. Okay, they are not the same size actually. This one is a bit smaller. So yes, they have different values and whatnot, and uh, it's just something to keep in the toolbox, in the parts bin to tinker with. You know, you always need some caps, and hopefully, it will do. This will do the business adequately. I'm sure they will. Wow, this is the same envelope but bigger, isn't it? So it's 
something in the this blister wrap. So what it is, I don't know. But let's see. Ta da! Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been expecting this. See, this is just a universal set of cables. Two cables with these uh, screw terminals. And you can put banana plugs in there. You can put uh, these uh, like small probes, big insulated probes and these um, like terminals and and alligator clips and obviously any combination of this so it will come in handy for my uh, power supply you know uh, and hopefully it will this uh, leads will withstand some current, yeah, I'm sure they will, but I can also use it with my multimeter. Yeah, what I'm doing, let me just... in the cables mm. yeah. yeah I don't know they feel yeah okay -ish. they are not silicone cables high quality or nothing and I hope they contain some copper I don't know how much but I'm sure uh, not much yeah copper is expensive some brass terminals and yeah okay yeah it seems okay -ish, reasonable quality it's a bit flexible material and these things Yeah, okay, this one actually feels a bit better than your cheap, you know, alligator clips you usually get. So, this will come in handy. Yeah, you cannot uh, pull this thing though. But nevertheless, uh, yes, it's a useful bit of kit. It will come in handy in my in my uh, selection of various cables and finally this puppy oh it's heavily protected yeah, it's unboxed obviously I don't want to damage what is inside box and it is a lot of smaller than I expected <laughs> it's a really small box and another one yeah uh, I took this for my components obviously and they are not all that cheap I don't know, they are not expensive but yeah, okay, the good thing is you can remove compartments so you can fit something inside 
it is what one two three four five ten compartments so yeah okay it will come in handy for uh, for something for some small parts if not i'll just give it to my girl to keep some jewelry or whatnot i think this is the the primary purpose of this is to keep jewelry inside and yes you cannot remove the big uh, this big wall in the middle only the small ones so yeah this is all for today's mailbox thank you for watching and see you next time i hope as a bonus let me show you the impact range i bought parkside brand uh, so it's supposedly up to 310 Newton meters No load rotation speed 7000 rpm Maximum 6.3 bar working pressure and some accessories are inside So let's unbox this puppy Yeah, it's a nice Hard case. I like hard cases. It keeps the stuff organized, including accessories. So let's see what's inside. Some manuals. It's nice powder coated impact wrenches. It should be heavy duty stuff, more or less. Oiler, is it? or some filter separator, I have to check this thing and uh, I have to screw this on connector and the tool itself yeah it looks nice, it is a, a cast metal and it feels heavy and solid at least like this change of direction, you know, you can disassemble it I'm not sure what is this, I didn't use these things much before so I have to screw my adapter here, I suppose and uh, yeah it's quite a wide selection of tools, which is nice some Allen wrench, probably for this oil thingy A really small amount of oil I'm not sure what's the business here It says machine oil And there is the... up here is the... You cannot see it A little bit extension, I think it is half an inch, does it say? Chrome vanadium, yada yada yada, but yeah, it's powder coated like it should be. These impact wrenches should be uh, heavy duty stuff. So let's, let's take a quick look at the manual. And by the way, this thing was around $13. US dollars that is so yeah it is a cheap tool uh, so this is you attach this 11 is it oil separator or what okay so let's see what it has number one is adjustable screw so this is what the Allen wrench is for, I'm not sure what you adjust with this screw Compressed air connection Torque control, ok, you can control the torque on the dial here, on the bottom uh, It has four settings Oil filling point Pivot bolt Numbers, ok, what is pivot bolt? number six yeah. 
for change of direction for what reverse it even says square drive extension uh, 9 plug nipple what is plug nipple okay it is the standard for the is this one it's quarter inch uh, plug nipple like they say so machine oil lubricator okay so obviously you put the oil here so it sucks some oil with air to lubricate this thing allen key socket attachments from 9 to 27 so yeah this is pretty nice it's nice of them they included the tool set and air consumption is 350 liters per minute which is actually more than my little air compressor can manage 6.3 bar this shouldn't be a problem so yeah it's a half inch extension here and all the tools are obviously half inch that is nice a uh, quarter inch this nipple and 310 newton meters and it at 7000 rpm which equals 0.3.5 kilowatts so 350 watts it's not much but it will do the business so required or uh, required air quality this is interesting and air supply why maintenance unit with filler pressure reducer and air atomizer purified condensation free and oil misted with minimum 50 liter tank volume and it produces quite a bit of noise and vibration of course so yeah my uh, compressor doesn't really satisfy these requirements so probably I, the, I will not get 310 newton meters and the um, like duty cycle will not be 100% obviously I will have to use it in short bursts because I have I think 20 or 25 liter tank which is half of that or less and yeah okay adjusting the torque so it has four torque values uh, and I think adjusting the compressed air So the torque has four values and they have initial use procedure. They say activate the trigger to start the equipment, release the trigger to... <laughs> yeah, okay. That is that. And this is it. Nothing much to it. I just wanted to see how to use this oiler but obviously you just uh, put the oil inside so yeah I won't bother you with this too much the weather is slimy and bad outside I don't feel like going to outside or even inside the garage to play with this now maybe I'll just try to spin it but for this mailbox, I hope this is enough. I hope you enjoy this. Goodbye.